Hi guys, all joining you again in another video. This is a game called Iodon Chronicle Rising. I hope I pronounced that right. And it's on the Xbox. Uh, and I'm playing this through the Game Pass because it was released yesterday on it. So this game, uh, I suppose most games like this, start off very very slow, a um, lot of uh, talking and stuff, and then it gets into the action which is quite quite cool I think. Um, yeah, so I pre-loaded pre this, pre-installed it a few days ago because I saw it on the Game Pass come in and I like the look of it. And uh, see so it came out yesterday, I didn't have a chance to play it then because it came out like yesterday evening. So I didn't chance to get on it then, so I had to go over this morning, and this is my first and only playthrough of the game. Or playthrough um, gameplay of the game. Only thing I've done is edited out like um, like the boss that you will see towards the end. You know, it did take me more than one one attempt to uh, beat him and stuff like that. You know, just stuff like that. I sort of narrated out, not edited out. I'm not used to speak it anymore. So uh, yeah, so there we go. So please let me know what you think. I think it's um, quite decent. I I saw one review. They said the combat was um, wasn't very good, but I didn't find it too bad at all so far. The enemies are getting more difficult, so maybe later on I would find it it wasn't good enough. I don't know, but f just for the level that I've played so far, I find it pretty good. And if you've got a game pass, you can't go wrong really playing this.
so as you can see you arrived uh, you're a young girl in this arrived in a new town you want to go like uh, looking for treasure and what have you and you've got to get your license before you can do it so at the beginning of the game you're looking you're doing different tasks with people and um, to get stamps and once you get enough stamps you get your license I presume that's how it works as I say so as far as the gameplay I've got is what you see here um, and if I, I found it quite pleasant to play it wasn't too like stressful uh, so far apparently from what I've read when you start getting to the stage where you um, go to the dungeons when you look you know, treasure hunters so speak that can be a bit monotonous so people have said but I don't know I haven't got that far yet if you want to see more of this game please let me know um, God, I'm not sure how it's going to really do. It's one of them games you, you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. So I don't know how it's going to do on this channel. I'm sort of... I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah. Uh, I got more like gun games lined up. But um, yeah, they'll be coming soon enough. Uh, several, in fact. I just need to get on to doing them. And a couple of the games I've got to get good before I can... Uh, like uh, record them because you've only got a certain amount of continues and if you don't get you know um, past a certain level you have to start all over again so games like that I sort of oh, I just come and go to them because I haven't got time you know I want to just play a game get through it and then put it on here but some games I've got to work on so they they be longer for me to be released then so um yeah let me know what you think um, the channel of Fruit Lab is doing really well. It's doing. We're on about four hundred and forty odd followers, and I've and I put my uh, wonderful world of weirdness channel on there now. That's on sixty odd followers. It's only been on it just over a week, so it's doing really well. Um, and with Fruit Lab at the moment as well, you can earn just from watching videos now more than ever now. So it's that's pretty cool. And you, you get the in-game currency, which you can use then to buy stuff. At the moment, the shop is in a transition period where you can't really buy anything while they're sorting out new um, stuff. But you will be able to at some point in the future. Um, yeah, so... Here we go. This is, just let me know what you think. It's music is nice. It's, it's pleasant enough. Uh, when the grind sets in, I don't know what you'd be like then, you know. But... Games like this, they've got to, they, they, that's what happens, isn't it? Starts off all lovely and what have you, and then the grind, you know, gets in. It's how the games deal with the grind, how they um, uh, present it to the gamer and stuff is the, is the issue. So, if I put, when I play more of it, I'll know then, but uh, there we go.
see as you're ranking up the enemies are getting more challenging and yeah as most games like this um, it's quite satisfying to actually defeat them and get past because even this a bit by here I had to do a few times to get past it um, you know it's, just, it's a learning curve so to speak and um, some, some enemies you can sort of headlong rush straight into them and just hack them and you have to worry about being you know killed these ones the new flying ones around this area here they're a bit more tougher because they explode so you've got to be careful when you've got to get your timing right and what have you but it all adds you know to the fun of the game i'm not sure if this is on other consoles i don't know i will put it in the description if it is i will find out and i have no idea how much it costs either to say because i got it on the game pass there's actually pretty cool as well because I was actually thinking of like stopping the game pass for a bit because I wasn't really using it a great deal and then I saw this game coming along I thought oh no I'm gonna play this now um, I'm hoping that Tina uh, Adventure in Wonderland that's gonna come on the game pass I'm itching to buy it but I'm worried as soon as I buy it it'll come on the game pass but what can you do it happened to me with the aliens game the recent alien alien um, fire multiplayer game I got it on the PS5, a month later it came on the, out on the Xbox and the Game Pass. I thought, oh god. So there we go. Um, what can I say? Uh, just let me know what you think of this then. And I've said that before. We're trying to get back on track. We lost a few days last week. I put it on the community page and a few of you have seen it. Uh, because I was trying to record more, like some light gun games basically. And um, I had a lot of issues with them freezing and stuff like that in fact problems I still haven't solved I'm planning on trying to set up my light gun on my laptop because it's an Intel processor and um, I'm hoping that it will a graphics card wherever you have you a Nvidia graphics card whereas this one I use on this PC is AMD and a Ryzen uh, graphics card so I'm hoping if I play the games I had issues with on my laptop that you know different gpu cpu hopefully it'll work better so i'm planning to do that when i get a chance um so there but like that dead stone pirates game i released on oh, the first part a few days ago on this channel i've been trying to record that game so i love that game and i kept freezing up um first of all it's freezing up on the first area then then the second year the second year I'm able to get past it at all which is quite gutting so that's why I'm gonna try it on my laptop and hopefully uh, get that working same with silence silent hill arcade um, on AMD processors there's glitches on it which are not on uh, Intel ones so again I'm gonna try that set that up on the, my Sindon on with that I'm gonna try that see how that goes 
Um, yeah, so I'm just just gonna get around to doing it. That's all. <laughs> so, you know, um, should we take them? But just what it is, you've got to got to you've got to set your gun up and everything, which doesn't take a lot, lot to be honest. You've got to do all that, and then you've got to get all the games on your laptop because they're not on the laptop. You've got to get them all on there, and it's just a bit of a you know palaver. But once it's done, it's done. So wait and see what happens. So that tree boss was a bit tricky. Um, I off screen because you didn't see it on the video. I was um, trying to like jump when his tongue came out and he fired at, at you, but I was always couldn't get the jump right. And if I did, his tongue would go in before I could even attack it. So I just sort of found out. Uh, for me, anyway, the best thing was to just jump on a tongue. I know you you lose a tiny bit of health because you've jumped on him, but you can then attack him. Whereas if his bolt of like lightning, the lightning of uh, electricity hits you, you lose a lot more health. So that's the lesser of two evils. So that's why I did it like that. Guess you're wondering. Guess you play the game yourself. Anyway, 
so we're back in the town now and it's showing what you gotta do the next step a uh, mission four i believe it is and um, it goes from there and i imagine i'm gonna end up having to go to the forest again but it's uh it's all good really enjoyed it and i'm gonna shoot off now there's probably about i don't know three four minutes left but i'll shoot off now and bid you all bye for now stay safe